Well, more problems at the Tesla Gigafactory in South Buffalo. We told you about recent firings that happened amid unionization efforts. And tonight, we're getting details on some new allegations made by workers at the plant, this time involving racial discrimination, they say. Joining us live here in studio is J. Dale Shoemaker with our nonprofit partners at Investigative Post. So, Dale, I know that you um, have gotten copies of some official complaints and also talked to some of these employees. Um, one of the more shocking allegations in your reporting concerns what happened in the aftermath of the May 14th shootings in Buffalo. Start by, by telling us um, how they recount what happened there. So this story that we have out today is based on my interviews with seven current and former uh, black employees who work at the Tesla factory here in Buffalo. And what a number of them told me is that after the May 14th shooting, there was a group of black employees who wanted to attend a vigil at the Topps Market to honor the 10 victims. Um, they were initially denied uh, being allowed to go by management. Uh, management eventually said yes, that they could go, although without pay. Uh, the employees went to the vigil, they come back to work. Um, the incident was seemingly over. However, the employees told me that when they came back, they came back with, quote, targets on their back. And all of a sudden, management uh, would see black employees standing in groups, uh, having conversations on the factory floor. They would go up to them and they would say, you guys can't be doing this. You need to split up the quote unquote optics look bad and you quote look like a gang. Uh, the employees found this very disturbing uh, and that is the subject of at least one complaint uh, to the Equal Opportunity um, Employment Commission uh, at the federal level. Um, and there are a number of other allegations uh, involving racism, discrimination and holding back employees from promotions as well. Yeah, in terms of those promotion opportunities, um, what did they tell you um, and, and why they believe their race was, was a factor in those decisions? Yeah, so one employee, you know, told me explicitly that uh, they believe that if you are a black employee at Tesla, you do not get promotions there. Uh, I heard from a number of employees who've said that uh, they knew what they were doing. They were well trained on the production lines. They had even been doing the work of supervisors, had been doing the work of higher paid employees already. Uh, but when they applied to be formally put into those positions and paid for those positions, uh, management declined them. Um, in one uh, case that employees cited as especially egregious, uh, two employees were sent to work on a battery manufacturing line. Um, they learned how to work that line. They even wrote an entire instruction manual. That's something that engineers usually do uh, to, on how to run that line. Uh, when they went to management to say, can we get a title? Can we get some pay You know, that's consummate with what we're doing here? They shut the line down and they sent the employees to work elsewhere. Uh, now, eventually, after restarting the line, one of those men did get uh, one of the more senior positions, but it was a real struggle, they said, to even get that far. Journalists everywhere know it's very difficult to get a comment from Tesla because they got rid of their PR department. So I, I guess no response there. But what about the state? I mean, remember, taxpayers uh, forked over a lot of money for this place. Yeah, uh, ESD, Empire State Development, they said that uh, they obviously don't condone racism and that uh, this behavior is not appropriate, um, but they didn't commit to, you know, doing anything further. Yeah, definitely something I'm continuing to follow. What happens next, Dale, in terms of, I mean, you mentioned the, um, the, the federal complaint that went to, to the office, Equal Opportunities Office. Um, how, do, how is that going to play out? Yeah, so the employees are kind of in a waiting game right now. Uh, there are at least two that we're aware of, two complaints at the uh, federal EEOC. Um, they are waiting to see if they, you know, are going to have any investigations related to those. Um, and otherwise, they're just, you know, showing up for their shifts and going to work. Finally, Dale, I've got about 30 seconds left. Um, I know that, that you guys also just published an updated story about the other thing going on at Tesla right now, which is what um, employees say were retaliatory firings after unionization efforts. Um, a state senator now uh, getting involved? Yeah, uh, State Senator Sean Ryan, he issued a letter today saying that he was calling on Empire State Development to conduct an investigation into uh, what the union calls were retaliatory firings uh, for these 40 employees uh, who were let go last week. The union now says that they have evidence uh, through uh, unfair labor practice charges that at least 25 of those employees were let go uh, illegally, uh, meaning that in retaliation for joining the union effort. Uh, and the National Labor Relations Board is looking into those and uh, I'm told that the board is uh, dedicating a lot of resources to investigating this. J. Dale Shoemaker with our partners at Investigative Post. Uh, we'll be calling on you again as there are, are certain to be new developments on both of these fronts. Dale, thank you. Thank you, Michael.